Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for coming. This Halloween was a super draining one, but here we are. You know, we made it and it was definitely worth it because the one person I wanted to see saw it and they showed their love. <laughs> Rihanna definitely seen my costume and I'm gonna be telling you everything that happened on the road to being Rihanna for Halloween. So if you guys really like this look, this Rihanna needed me makeup look, keep on watching. Oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like and don't forget to comment. Okay, since we got the basics out the way, let's move on. Okay, so boom, I was so excited to do this Halloween costume. I decided to be Rihanna. It was really, really, it actually really wasn't that hard to choose who to be this year. I always wanted to be Rihanna. It just didn't feel like I could do her justice, but this year I wanted to take that challenge on. Also, there was so much going on last month and this month that I really just needed something that was gonna be super easy to make. And I felt like that robe in Needed Me was gonna be easy for um, Fisa, Pineapple Pussy, Huey, the Atelier. She came through. Um, and she does she does my costumes every single year. Nafisa always comes through with the comes through, okay? She comes in with the details. Like she killed it. Okay, so we are at the fashion trap house and this is where I'm getting my costume design. So I'm going to be using the smudge brush and I'm going to actually do a straight line just like this I already did this eyebrow I'm just gonna do a straight line like so to create more of a it's kind of like a straight brow which I ended up really loving I thought it was really dope especially with the, the bob so let me tell you guys of the story so me and Afisa decided that I was gonna be Rihanna for Halloween because hello, the baddest bitch. I definitely wanted to do the tattoos, as you guys can tell. I was super excited about doing that. I know that Nafisa can draw, like so I'm like, yo, Nafisa, you're gonna be drawing the Rihanna tats for me, plus doing everything else. And she's like, no, I'm not. Like straight away, Nafisa said no. And straight away, I panicked. I'm like, oh my God, you have to. You're the only person I know that knows how to draw. So like, obviously like figure it out. Like, come on, if I'm an artist, I'd be able to figure it out. But she was like, no, I'm not trying to mess it up, which is true, you know. We definitely felt a lot of pressure because every year for the past like three, four years, She's been doing my costumes and killing it. And we're like, every year we wanna obviously um, top it. So she's like, let us get a henna artist. She's like, I know a couple henna artists, I'm gonna send it to you and you're gonna choose which one. So she does that. And then I see Breath of Henna. Breath of Henna is this girl on Instagram that does henna and she's from Toronto. And she does a bomb ass job. Breath of Henna was um, down straight away and I could not be more excited. So I'm super am super excited. We made a we made a um appointment and that was for the 29th. So now I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend out my lid just to make it more clean. And this is how the eyebrows are gonna look. So now we're gonna go in with my Morphe palette. This is the 450. Is this the 450? This is this palette. It has all the reds, the browns, the neutral colors. Like I love those kind of colors. So this is why I got this palette. So this is the palette I'm gonna be using. But first I'm going to use concealer on my lid as the base, like as the primer. So anyways, Breath of Henna and I make an appointment on October 29th. I make a hair appointment on October 30th, okay? 
So breath of henna. Our appointment, our appointment is, I'm gonna call it BH, okay? I'm gonna call breath of henna BH. So BH tells me that she's going to be um, at Nafisa's house because I need to go to Nafisa's house because I couldn't do it at my house. Like I really couldn't do it at my house. I just didn't want my mom asking too many questions. So we did it at Nafisa's house and she was supposed to be there around, I think it was seven, six, six or seven. And she said that was perfect. So the day comes and she said that she was really tired and then she had to, um, she had to come later. She said she wanted to come tomorrow morning. And I was like, well, I have a hair appointment in the morning. So I really couldn't do it. And she was like, she insisted that she was really tired. So I told her that she should definitely take a break. So we're going to be using, I think it was this color. I used two colors that day. So this color and this color. So she was supposed to come at six, seven. She said she needs to take a nap. I said, yeah, no worries. We're gonna just stop, start right at the bottom of my brow and bring it down, leaving the brow highlight area open. So I told her to take a nap and come to the house around nine, 10, but it just needed her to come at that time. I really, really needed her to come that day. So she came around 10, cause she had to take the buds and she was coming downtown from Vaughn, which was really far. So I just told her to take her time. And when she finally came, she was super sweet and we just got right down to it. lay down and make sure not to move. She put tissue, um, toilet paper on top and taped it down and covered all the tacks. And she said that it really needed, like I remember when she typed to me, like um, the care for henna, but especially this kind of henna, is that you need about five hours for it to dry. So you can't really do anything, so you have to just let it dry so that it stays in place. I'm gonna be using Julia's Place in Sokoto. If I said that right, I don't even know. I'm gonna put that all over my face. So, I fell asleep. When I woke up, trauma, travesty, a mess. My cross and the writing that we did was a mess. It was such a mess, I started to panic. My chest tat was a mess. Okay, it wasn't a mess. That one dried, Night, like better than my collarbone. So that got messed up when I fell asleep. I guess it didn't dry. It for sure didn't dry. Um, it ended up drying smudged, which was so traumatizing because I have to keep this on for like two to three weeks. And of course, chestnut on top of the matte concealer for my highlight. For my highlight. Thank you. 
I'm gonna be using Fenty in 492 contour. Fenty Beauty. Okay, so I fell asleep on the bus. I didn't miss my stop, which I was so happy about. So I get off the stop, I go to my hairstylist's house, I end up even taking a nap there. When I wake up, she's like, oh, where's your hair? I'm like, it's on the table. She's like, no, it's not. And I'm like, yes, it is. And she's like, no, it's not. And I'm like, yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it, it is. Now I'm gonna go in with a buffer brush, a new clean buffer brush. But this is a two-sided brush, it's from Sephora. I'm gonna use this for my cheeks and I'm gonna use this one for my nose. I go to the table and I see that there's a huge hole this size okay on the side of the bag and I was like what the f <laughs> as soon as everyone in the house seen that everyone assumed the worst someone went into my plastic bag and stole my weave on the bus going to Rexdale on the 45. I laughed, I laughed, trust me, I laughed. I actually laughed. I was like, no, 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 no. But mind you, my hairstylist Nita has three sisters, two of them were there that day, and they were like, no. Someone stole your weave. So I'm gonna use the small part on this um, brush and I'm just going to blend out everything. Gonna add the excess right to my temples. I kind of panicked, but I kind of don't. I was just kind of in disbelief, but you know, I was like, I could see that happening on the 45 going to Rexdale. I know, that is very horrible, but I definitely assumed the worst. I'm gonna be going in with the Laura Mercier. This is the deep setting powder. I'm not using the light one. I was saying nasty things, things that I wouldn't usually say. And when I felt like it wasn't enough people seeing what I had written, I took it to Instagram. Posted it in all my stories. I even made a poll to ask people, am I crazy? Or with all these facts that are given to you, are you coming to the same conclusion as me? And then I made a next story post saying, I don't even give a damn if you do not agree with me because I am super convinced that this is what happened given the variables that was presented. This huge rat hole on the side of the bag, not even on the bottom, because I would have assumed that the weave dropped off, dropped out of the bag if it was on the bottom, but it wasn't, it was on the side. So I assumed because I was sleeping like this, with my hand right here, that someone you know, did the ting, stole my tings, like stole it. Like, am I crazy? Maybe. Now I'm gonna go in with the Iman setting powder. This is not a setting powder. This is actually a oil blotting powder. And this is what I use to contour. This is just going over all the cream contour that I have done already. So yeah, everyone's laughing. We're all having a key key and I'm like, okay, haha, <laughs> joke's over. What are we gonna do? How are we going to get this costume together when all these things keeps happening? First, the henna smudged permanently on my freaking neck, okay? And now my hair is stolen by a, a, a ting from Rexdale or a crazy ass guy stealing weed for his yell. Nita came to the rescue, went and found some hair so that I can have it 
for my costume of being the baddest bitch, Brianna. And someone stole my weave. <laughs> someone stole my weave on the motherfucking bus to Rexdale. Oh, on the bus to Rexdale, someone took my damn weave. Stole my damn weave. I'm gonna tell you guys the story because you know what? The devil works hard, but you know what? Nita, she works harder, okay? Then I'm gonna go back in with my setting powder and I'm gonna cut my cheeks, giving myself the illusion of higher cheekbones. So I'm gonna be using Huda Beauty in Blondie to go over my highlight, just to give it more of a pop underneath my eye. I'm only going to use the lighter one for underneath my eye. I don't wanna do it too much. So now I'm going to go back to the eyes and I'm gonna use my black eyeliner from NYX. This is the vinyl liquid eyeliner. You guys already know this is the only liquid eyeliner that I've been using. So I get my hair done. Now it's October 31st. My hair is done, thank God. So I get back home after my hair is done. Shout out to Nita once again for saving up this life, okay? I get home and I go into, there's two sides to my Instagram messages. You guys obviously probably know already. There's the one that you're like with the people that you're following. And then there's the other side of people that you're not following. So I was going through that list and I seen something and I click it and it's someone saying, hey, I just seen this on my friend's story post. And they said that they were on the 45 and that's my hair. That was my hair on the floor, on the back of the bus where I was standing to come off the bus. So it was where, it, where it is is where the doors are, the back doors are, and that's the, that's the door that I used to leave the bus. And that was the hair, because it wasn't like new bundles, it was washed hair. And I don't know the wave of shame and embarrassment that came and washed and flooded me. You guys have absolutely no idea realizing that I really thought someone came and stole my weave. I really thought that someone came and stole my weave. Quickly, I had to post that. Like, hey guys, hey, sorry for the inconvenience. Sorry, because I really was convinced. Um, so sorry for all the things that I said. I was embarrassed to say, to say the very least, okay? I need complete silence when I'm doing my eyeliner, so hold on. Okay, now I'm gonna go and put on my lashes, so hold on. So now it's October 31st and I still had to get the panty to go with the costume. I went to La Senza. Okay, I call Mafisa and she's saying she's still almost done, not quite there yet. We wanted to take pictures in the daytime to emulate and get the essence of the actual Needed Me video. Because as you guys know, Brianna took those pictures during the day. So that's what we wanted to do. Unfortunately, time went by and I had to take the pictures in the nighttime which was fine. We brought a light, we did the whole nine, but yet the essence, the vibe, it, it just wasn't there. So it was kind of like, I'm not gonna say forced, but I kind of felt like I was forcing it. I felt like I was doing too much in a sense. And I was also starting to feel like, was this all gonna be worth it? Like, 
I was getting so much people messaging me saying, yo, where is your costume? Where is your costume? I was feeling a lot of pressure to come through, but to come through. So that on top of all the little mishaps that were happening throughout the day towards the big day um, of being bad gal Riri, you know, the baddest bitch. I was really not feeling it on October 31st, like the day of when it was like 11 p.m. and we were taking pictures on a, at a condo. Shout out to Anson, almost guilty, and shout out to Nafisa for being there with me and sticking it out with me and taking these pictures so we could get the results. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with MAC um, Devil Blush on my cheeks. That's what I use. As you can tell, I still kept the setting powder on. After taking the pictures, I didn't even really like the pictures to be like to be honest. Like I didn't really feel the pictures. I thought they were very lackluster. I wanted to use a camera, but um, I wanted to use a camera, but I thought that. Um, the lighting was not enough. She didn't bring it, only to go there and find out the lighting was going to be enough. So that was annoying. I'm going to remove the excess setting powder. Even while I was taking the pictures, you guys can see it in my face. I'm going to show you. You guys can see it in my face. I was not in the mood. I was just so upset. Like I was so upset. I wasn't thinking anything was going right. I didn't even know how these pictures were going to come out. I also didn't like um, that I didn't have a variety of places to take these pictures. I felt like it was only that that window that looked good. So that upset me also. Uh, maybe I was just being a brat. Who knows? Maybe the vibe was just messed up. But I did what I had to do and I went home and I went to sleep and I was really sad about that also because I wanted to go out and ended up not going out. So just gonna take off all the excess powder. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe setting spray. You guys know how much I love this. Love how it sprays. Feels so fresh. And I'm gonna go in with black eyeliner and I'm gonna be using the NYX in black. It's a really, really black. I love it so much. This is really gonna make these contacts pop. Super excited that I got these contacts from TTDI. They always supply me with the best of the best contacts. I love them so much and they look so real. Like even no matter how bright the color is, it just looks so um, realistic in your eye. That's how great the quality is. So I'm gonna go in with mascara now. Make these eyes pop like Riri. So like I said, I was really like not in the mood. I wanted to go out and I didn't even end up going out. So I went home, I looked at the pictures, was not really impressed and then I fell asleep. Woke up in the morning realizing that whether I was impressed or not, I'm gonna have to post anyways because my friend spent so much time making this outfit. I spent so much time thinking about the outfit, um, getting it prepared for Halloween. I wasn't gonna let it go to waste. So like I spent the time to just look at the pictures, choose the best ones I felt, or the ones that I felt like emulated the pictures that I loved and posted it. God is good because the pics definitely did well. It was probably the most comments I've ever received. I also posted it on Twitter and it did extremely well as well, like extremely well. The, the goal was for Rihanna to see the work that we put in to being her because she is the baddest bitch. She is the inspo, like honestly, the inspiration for a lot of my style. Like you guys have absolutely no idea. And like just the attitude in itself, Rihanna is the epitome of the woman that I aspire to be like. So I definitely wanted to do it justice. I definitely want her to see it and be like, yo, 
this thing. She has it. She knew not to compromise nothing. Like nothing. Like I didn't, like I really wanted it to be almost exact, okay? Like when I do uh, my Halloween costumes, I, the thing I love about Nafisa is that she's like me and she's such a perfectionist. She wants, to, if there's like a button, like she's trying to have that button in the costume. Like, I love that about her. That's Artist Couture in Illuminati, unfortunately. You guys know how I feel about that, that word. Okay, for to complete this Rihanna inspired needed me look, I am going to do the lips. I'm gonna go in with a dark brown lip liner. So the picture did super well, which I'm super grateful for. Thank you guys so much for the support, the love. Thank you guys for not making this this whole three day fiasco go to waste. I really appreciate it, and because of you guys. Rihanna saw the picture! <laughs> Definitely couldn't do that without you guys. I'm gonna go in with NYX Preline. Knowing that Rihanna saw my picture, because there's so many people that have done Rihanna over the years and on Halloween, she's obviously not gonna be like, it's not really that special, right? Because she always gets um, people remaking her stuff. So for her to like notice my costume, the visa's work, it just, oh, it was, it was so worth it. I would go through everything again just to live in that moment of when I found out that she commented. Now I'm gonna obviously use Fenty Beauty on top cause I was definitely channeling that Riri energy. I'm using Fussy. This is the Rihanna makeup look, but this is not Rihanna. And this, is a V look. I hope you guys enjoy. This is the robe that Nafisa made for me. I'm gonna keep this forever. Can't wait to see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much. Can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye.